Now, this is the core that I want to tell you guys in this, you know, little segment. This is basically how you set up a web page using Ajax. You get you pretty much set up your web page so that all the static data is right there and then you go in and you add empty divs and they don't have to be divs but they're the easiest to work with because you can stick anything inside a div basically just go ahead and add a div and this is how I like to add it although some people use a single one and that's perfectly fine just go ahead and give ID of something like div movies so basically this empty div is where the dynamic content is going to go. Say you, you know, are linked up to a database and you had different movies for different users. Well, this part would be the same. However, their movies, which are all different, that's the part that would be different and changing. So that is why you need empty divs wherever you have dynamic elements. Now, another thing I want to mention is this. If you're saying, okay, is it really necessary to put this on load I mean why can't I just go ahead and put all my JavaScript right here it'll just be all in the same file nice and neat it'll work out perfectly right well that works out for a lot of JavaScript applications but not this one and let me tell you why now if you know you know pretty much the basics about computer programming they work from top to bottom now they go this line executes then this line this line this line until you get to the bottom so if you go ahead and say something like this um say we're gonna reference this div right here div movies so we're gonna put div movies and put the inner HTML equal to you know a list of my favorite movies well whenever we do that we're gonna get an error because remember we're working top to bottom here whenever we set div movies equal to something it didn't even come across this div tag right yet so it doesn't even know that this div movies exist so it's gonna say okay you're trying to set this div movies equal to something is just just like a freaking variable or what is this I didn't even discover this because I'm still way up here working so that is one reason why we use this let me go ahead and tighten this back up this create list because then what happens is your entire web page loads so this is all done in pretty much JavaScript knows all about every single tag that you had created every single div and then in your JavaScript file which will be over here you can go ahead and edit them make them dynamic so that is what I wanted to say make sure that you always use an on load function because anything in here executes after your web page is loaded and anything in here in the head of course executes before the body is loaded make sense so now what I want to do is go ahead and alright I think I have everything good to go here now let's go ahead and create that movies JavaScript file so go ahead and put file save as and I'll just go ahead and save this is movies JavaScript and now what I want to do is function in what I name this create list so now what it's going to do is it knows about all of these divs now in this function once the web page is loaded it's going to go over here and call this function pretty freaking sweet huh so let me go ahead and just I guess inside this div we can just put like a an unordered list or something of my movies so let's go ahead and since we're gonna have you know kind of a big list let's go ahead and make a variable s will stand for you know just string you can name it anything you want and s is just going to be equal to and this is going to be a really simple function um let's just go ahead and put 